Hello everyone, and welcome to my Sister Wives For You channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Coyote Pass is in trouble. On November 24, 2024, the Sister Wives Season 19 mid-season trailer was released. It teases a lot of shocking drama, including a big conflict between Cody Brown and his ex-wives over their Arizona property. Cody Brown makes a significant choice regarding polygamy. Robin Brown is seen asking her husband, Are you okay with this being Valentine's Day? Just you and me. While they are out to dinner. Given that she is his only surviving wife, the patriarch of the household confesses, I feel like polygamy has slapped me. Robin tells producers of her spouse, I feel like I'm getting the brunt of it, and he is very angry. Will you accept me as monogamous? Cody asks Robin in a major declaration later in the trailer. It's not what I wanted. Robin laments in a voiceover. This is the end of this family. Cody cryptically declares in a confessional after the scene. Right now, right here. Stepping out of her comfort zone, Janelle Brown. Christine Brown, her husband David Woolley, and Janelle Brown are spotted at a pub together. He advises that the three of them try its slippery nipple which is a layered shot typically made with Bailey's Irish cream and Sambuca. Whoa, that's not bad, Janelle says after taking a shot. In a confessional, she adds, change and growth are scary, right? Furthermore, we are not always inclined to step outside of our comfort zone. Is Janelle Brown moving? I adore Flagstaff. While a clip depicts things being unloaded from a storage locker and placed into a U-Haul truck, she says, it's time to do something different. After learning of her relocation intentions, Cody confesses, I don't know how to explain this. I was never supposed to be aware that Janelle was moving. As the moving vehicle is seen entering New Mexico from Arizona, Janelle tells producers, I'm going to move to North Carolina, outlining her plans. It will be a lot of work if this goes south for some reason, she says. The ex-wives of Cody Brown are getting ready to fight over Coyote Pass land. In season 13, Cody and his ex-wives purchased their Coyote Pass property north of Flagstaff, Arizona. Now they want a cut of the proceeds from the sale of the property, the imminent deadline for any outstanding payments, or the threat of a bank foreclosing on the property, was already depicted in Season 19. While standing on the Coyote Pass property, which was never developed by the prior multiple family, after they relocated from Las Vegas, Nevada, a man is observed saying Cody, You've definitely got some special land out here. I believe they are concerned about my fairness. Cody replies, Divorce just takes away all trust, implying what might occur during a transaction. As she explains, I will probably get a lawyer because I think he could just drag his feet on it. Janelle can be seen FaceTiming Mary. I put money into it, and I'm going to get my part out of it, Mary Brown says of Coyote Pass. But the fact that we must do this is completely incorrect. I'm furious. It was a special place that was meant to be more special, Cody says, expressing his reluctance to part with the property. As footage of him and Robin and their kids enjoying the land flashes, he says, I don't want to sell it. In a confessional, Janelle insists, just give us what's ours and we'll move on. Christine Brown prepares to get married. Ahead of her wedding to David Woolley, Christine charmingly models a bridal gown for her kids. One of her daughter's remarks, Your vagina looks really nice, referring to the lace applique over her crotch in the strapless dress. Although we didn't know where it was, we have located it today. In a confessional, a mortified Christine exclaims, Oh my gosh. Later, she can be seen examining wedding cakes while Janelle remarks, It's a start over. Regarding the upcoming wedding, it's a do over in the biggest way. Polygamy doesn't interest Mary Brown anymore. Listen, dating is fun, Mary says. I've dated a little bit, someone said. Mary began seeing Amos Andrews in October 2023, following her breakup with Cody in December 2022. Just because I care a lot about someone, and he me, does not equate to full compatibility for a long-term relationship, she told followers when she revealed their breakup in February 2024. We must make difficult choices when our goals and aspirations communication preferences and values, and future visions diverge. Mary states, I'm definitely not interested in polygamy again. 
indicating that she does not want to be in another multiple marriage. A terrifying ATV accident occurs. Cody and another someone are observed riding their all-terrain vehicles when someone appears to drive too quickly over a dirt hill and take off. As dramatic music plays, Cody removes his helmet to tend to the injured rider. On Sister Wives, Cody Brown's involvement in the Brown family's financial difficulties has finally come to light. At the halfway point of season 19, Janelle and Christine Brown eventually reveal Cody's alleged misappropriation of family money. Three of Cody's four spouses were clearly disadvantaged as a result of his alleged money grab after his wrongdoings were exposed. According to reports, Cody Brown treated his wives like employees and retained the extra money. Long-standing issues over the fairness of the Brown family's financial distribution were finally addressed in the most recent episode of TLC's Sister Wives. The 11th Hour The unequal distribution of assets was discussed by Mary, Janelle, Christine, and Cody Brown. All of our money got put into a big, huge fund, and we got paid out of that fund, Christine disclosed in a confessional. And I always discuss being paid with Cody. He's the one who always wrote the check if I needed anything, she added. I informed Cody. Cody was actually in charge of the finances. I just feel like we each knew what we were going to get out of the family money. And then if there was anything extra, we would just have to talk to Cody. Christine and Janelle concurred when discussing money management. Christine came to the conclusion that he could then spend whatever the hell he wanted. It was a lot of that, Janelle admitted. Cody Brown uses Janelle Brown as a scapegoat for mishandling the family's finances. Cody and Janelle Brown clashed over the family's land, Coyote Pass, in a previous Sister Wives episode. Janelle says her only asset is her share of the land. She is keen to settle the debt, sell the house, and receive the money that is due to her. But Janelle doesn't believe Cody when he says he would pay off the land and divide the assets fairly. When she spoke with Mary Brown, who has a financial stake in the property as well, Mary expressed confidence in Cody's moral character. In a confessional, Janelle stated, I think it's incredibly important to have financial security and to be financially savvy. He is attempting to blame me for everything. I'm furious because I was unaware of it. Behind my back, he was doing this. I was like, F asterisk 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 ing hell. As he continued to repeat these things to everyone, Cody apparently blamed Janelle's purported manipulation of the family finances for the clan's financial instability. Cody was actually keeping his wives on an allowance and spending freely. That careless spending benefited Robin Brown, who lived with Cody Brown, his lawful wife. While the other ladies worked and had to ask Cody for additional money, she and her kids always received the majority of the money. Supporters respond to allegations that Cody Brown misused family funds. Fans were relieved that the sensitive subject was finally covered on Sister Wives after years of financial disparity between Mary, Janelle, Christine, Robin, and Cody Brown. They discussed how Janelle, Mary, and Christine's claims deviated from Cody's evaluation of the family's financial situation. How come Mary, Janelle, and Christine have such a different idea about who is in charge of the money? One admirer commented, Either someone is outright lying, or someone wasn't listening. A second viewer wrote, At last, they are being honest about how the finances were handled, and who controlled the pot. For Cody, this is all about the money. A third Sister Wives viewer concluded that he was attempting to keep her on the hook. The mid-season trailer for Sister Wives was also made public. Christine arranges her wedding to David Woolley in the video. Mary and Janelle collaborate to choose the best course of action for their Coyote Pass equity. Robin tumbles from her ATV. Mary Brown is establishing herself in Utah now that she and Cody are no longer together. Blair and Jen, two of her friends, were eager to embrace her. But first, Mary needed a little assistance getting around. Regretfully, she needed assistance from her ex-husband. Jen met Cody and Mary when they arrived in Utah in the most recent episode. However, fans didn't get the happy reunion they were hoping for. Jen actually appeared to be very uneasy around Cody. Check out what admirers have to say online. Jen, a friend of Mary Brown, cringes at Cody's emotional outburst. While assisting Mary with her move to Utah on Sunday night's new episode, Cody has an emotional meltdown. As he sobbed, Mary tried to console him by saying, 
It always blows me away that you get emotional like this. I just don't understand. Cody went on. We had something special, in between sobs. And it seems like everything kind of gone to sh asterisk t. One thing led to another, and then to still another. And it's all right. I'm no longer resentful or furious. Naturally, Jen and Nathan, who were assisting Mary with her transition, witnessed all of this. One sister wives fan wrote, secondhand embarrassment, as the caption for a Reddit post. A screenshot of Jen and Nathan from the show, who were obviously uneasy with the event playing out in front of them, was added. Jen wasn't the only one who felt uneasy. The scene was quite awkward, according to several sister wives viewers. But a few people liked the picture of Jen and Nathan. The audience thought the camera team was making light of Cody's intense emotional outburst. Redditors posted, Why is that man crying and using Mary as a sounding board for his emotions? It would be really difficult for me not to slap Mary across the face and show him the door if I were his friend. Robin and he are always the martyrs. Traditional narcs. During this scene I actually screamed. He seemed as though she was to blame for everyone's departure when he added, We had something special. And I'm not angry anymore. Nathan and Jen most likely wanted to GTFO quickly. I knew that someone would take this picture for me, saving me the trouble. They showed this and I was dying. Face with tears of joy as face with tears of joy. The extent to which my eyes would have rolled into my head would have given the impression that I was possessed. What complete nonsense. How did you feel about Cody's outburst of emotion in the most recent episode? If you had witnessed it firsthand, would your response to Jen have been the same? Post your own ideas in the comments section. Watch the latest Sister Wives show on TLC this Sunday at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. For the most recent TLC news and updates, continue to follow TV shows Ace in the Interim. Christine Brown, star of Sister Wives, intends to marry David Woolley in season 19. The TLC special shows have previously featured their wedding. On the show, nevertheless, the couple is documenting their pre-wedding adventure. Christine's brief romance with David has taken her family by surprise. After only two months of courtship, she has presented him to her family. In the most recent season, the TLC stars displayed their dazzling synergy. The majority of Christine's kids don't mind their mother's new romantic life. Unexpectedly, one of her kids appears uneasy about her frenzied relationship with David. Do all of her kids enjoy their relationship with her? Will David and his potential stepchildren get along? What is Christine going to do? Isabel, one of the sister wives, expresses her genuine feelings over Christine's romance with David. Christine Brown, star of Sister Wives, gets along well with all of her kids. She and her girls share a unique closeness. Since the beginning, the TLC personality has included her children in their relationship. Isabel just revealed how she really feels about her mother's developing friendship with David. When she made the decision to live with her boyfriend, she had a private conversation with her mother. According to Isabel, her mom's new relationship was progressing quite quickly. Christine was certain, though, that she wanted to live out the rest of her days with David. She even discussed how she felt about living in a home with a man full-time. After their wedding, Isabel became tearful and inquired as to whether David would take her father's position. Fans now believe that Truly is unhappy with her mother's new relationship as well. Are sister wives actually dissatisfied with David and Christine's relationship? After her parents divorced, sister wives actress Truly Brown now lives with her mother, Christine Brown. Since her mom and her dad split up, she has been getting used to the new dynamic. The TLC star must thus be anxious about sharing a home with her prospective stepfather. In season 19, Christine Brown has been living with her new lover. On the show, she has been flaunting her sultry romance. Truly seemed to be the least interested in her mother's developing affair though. She accompanied her and David on their most recent outing, according to Cheat Cheat. Sitting in the car, the latter put his arms around his lover. During the trip, they were in love. To her surprise, Truly bit Willie's hands to show how uncomfortable she was. Fans were taken aback by her actions and realized how difficult it must be for her to handle everything. They also thought she was indicating how uncomfortable she was seeing her mother with someone else. This must have been the star kid's way of making fun of David. However, 
it was a little strange for the audience to watch Truly in such manner. Additionally, they thought she might not be overly thrilled with her mother's recent marriage. Appears content and at ease in David's presence in real life. She might find her mother's PDA with her lover uncomfortable. Furthermore, the problems the preteen has been dealing with lately made her actions clear to the fans. For more information about Christine's kids, keep checking TV season and spoilers. Fans of Sister Wives are aware of Gabe Brown's recent mental health issues. It was difficult enough that he and his father were still at odds. However, it was Gabe who found Garrison's body after he committed suicide. Many people assume Gabe began visiting a mental health professional because of the way he speaks in season 19 and how well he conveys his feelings. Getting professional help is a great first step, but when Gabe liked the concerning Instagram post, his admirers are still worried about his health and well-being. Fans of Sister Wives are concerned about Gabe Brown. Given the events of the last few years, fans continue to worry about Gabe Brown, even if he is seeing a mental health expert. Additionally, several viewers are alarmed by his recent Instagram activities. A worried Redditor posted on the site, Gabe, you are loved. I noticed that Gabe liked this Instagram post. Please know that you are valued and appreciated if you are reading this. You don't realize how much your friends and family depend on you. Although Gabe Brown no longer posts on Instagram, it seems that he is still active there. A screenshot of a post he liked was added by the original poster. When the gun jams, and all of a sudden I'm playing with my cat, hearing her meow with joy like nothing ever changed, is the caption for the photo. Concerns for Gabriel were also voiced by other Reddit users who hoped he was getting the care and assistance he required. According to one statement, the TLC singer relocated to Las Vegas in order to be close to his elder brothers, Hunter and Logan. If such is the case, he is surrounded by people who love and care for him. However, fans continued to worry despite this. Included were comments. So many individuals are in pain. If you are one among them, I apologize. You're not by yourself. Obviously we can't be certain, but we must take into account that this made him think of Garrison. Who knows, Gabe might be saved by witnessing this. Perhaps a friend will notice, and come see how he's doing. Janelle Brown promised, to keep her relationship with her kids closer. Although Sister Wives star Janelle Brown, has always prioritized her children, she promised to communicate with them much more following Garrison's death. Gabriel is surrounded by family members who genuinely care about him if he does now reside in Las Vegas. In addition, Janelle often travels to the city to visit her sons. I hope that things become better. Gabe is very popular among Sister Wives viewers. The truth behind Robin Brown's camera ban in Sister Wives season 19. What is she hiding? The Brown family's journey on Sister Wives has been riddled with drama, heartbreak and shocking revelations. But one mystery continues to baffle fans. Why does Robin Brown refuse to let cameras into her home? Season after season, viewers have noticed the glaring absence of indoor footage from Robin and Cody's house, fueling endless speculation. Now, as spoilers for Sister Wives Season 19 emerge, it seems Robin's home will remain a no-go zone for the TLC crew. Is it about protecting privacy, hiding something deeper, or simply deflecting attention? Let's dive into the rumors, theories, and what this camera ban says about Robin and Cody's relationship as season 19 looms. Robin Brown's off-limits home, a recurring mystery, the outdoor filming dilemma. Fans have long been curious about why so many scenes featuring Robin and Cody Brown take place outdoors, even in freezing temperatures. One memorable instance occurred when Mary Brown visited their property, and the group huddled outside in the cold. Despite the biting weather, Robin didn't invite Mary inside, opting instead to bring out one of Cody's coats to wrap Mary in for warmth. It was painful to watch, one fan commented. Why would Robin let Mary freeze when she could have easily invited her in? This odd behavior only deepens suspicions about why the cameras are seemingly unwelcome inside Robin's home. The hoarding rumors. One popular theory among fans is that Robin's refusal to allow indoor filming stems from a desire to hide potential hoarding habits. Earlier seasons gave glimpses of her home, which appeared neat and orderly. However, during one rare instance of indoor filming, Christmas Day at Robin and Cody's house, 
Fans were taken aback by the cluttered state of the home. Reports described items piled high on tables and countertops, with possessions seemingly scattered everywhere. These brief glimpses led some to wonder if Robin and Cody might have developed hoarding tendencies over the years. Why Robin's camera ban matters. A stark contrast to earlier seasons. In the early days of Sister Wives, Cody's life as a polygamist was fully on display. Cameras documented his visits to each wife's home giving viewers an intimate look at their daily lives. Robin's home was once part of this routine, making her sudden reluctance to film indoors all the more suspicious. Cody wanted to showcase polygamy in a positive light, a fan noted. But now it feels like he and Robin are hiding something. The shift in Robin and Cody's relationship. Cody's once harmonious, or so it seemed. Plural marriage has crumbled with Christine, Janelle, and Mary all leaving him. Robin is now his sole wife, but their relationship hasn't escaped scrutiny. By keeping the cameras out of their home, some fans believe Robin and Cody are trying to maintain control over the narrative. Fans speculate about Robin's secrets. Hoarding or privacy, while hoarding is one of the most persistent theories. Others believe Robin's refusal to film indoors is simply a matter of privacy. As the most scrutinized member of the Brown family, Robin may feel overwhelmed by the constant attention and criticism. Robin has always been guarded, one fan wrote. Maybe she's just tired of being judged for everything, protecting her image. Another possibility is that Robin wants to shield herself from backlash. With three of Cody's former wives speaking out about his favoritism toward Robin, her public image has taken a hit. By controlling what viewers see, Robin may be attempting to preserve what's left of her reputation. What to expect in Season 19? The Return of Outdoor Scenes Spoilers suggest that Sister Wives Season 19 will continue the trend of outdoor filming at Robin and Cody's home. Whether it's due to clutter, privacy concerns, or another reason entirely, the cameras are unlikely to venture inside. A new era for the Brown family. As Sister Wives heads into its 19th season, the dynamics of the Brown family are drastically different. Christine has moved on and found love with David Woolley. Janelle is embracing her independence, and Mary is on her own path of self-discovery. Meanwhile, Cody and Robin remain under the microscope, with fans eager to see how their relationship evolves in the absence of plural marriage. Fan reactions, theories, and outrage. A community divided. Fans have taken to social media and forums to share their thoughts on Robin's camera ban. While some sympathize with her desire for privacy, others are convinced she's hiding something. If Robin has nothing to hide, why not let the cameras in? One Reddit user questioned. Others pointed out that outdoor filming and freezing weather seems unnecessarily dramatic. The scene with Mary shivering outside was ridiculous. Just let her in the house, another fan wrote. Will Robin address the rumors? As the backlash grows, Fans are calling on Robin to address the rumors directly. Whether it's a hoarding issue, privacy concerns, or something else entirely, viewers want answers. Conclusion The mystery continues. Robin Brown's reluctance to allow cameras into her home has become one of the most intriguing aspects of Sister Wives. While fans continue to speculate about her motives, the truth remains elusive. As season 19 approaches, all eyes will be on Robin and Cody to see if they finally let viewers in, or if they continue to keep their lives behind closed doors. What do you think Robin is hiding? Share your theories in the comments below, and stay tuned for more updates as Sister Wives Season 19 unfolds. Christine Brown spills juicy bedroom secrets about Cody Brown. Did she go too far? Christine Brown, one of the breakout stars of Sister Wives, is no longer mincing words when it comes to her past relationship with Cody Brown. Recently, the reality TV personality sat down with Heather McDonald on the popular Juicy Scoop podcast and opened up about one of the most private aspects of their marriage, the bedroom. Her shocking revelations are sending waves through the Sister Wives fan community and raising questions about what really went wrong in her relationship with Cody. Did Christine cross the line with these disclosures? Or is she simply reclaiming her narrative after years in a plural marriage that left her unfulfilled? Here's the inside scoop, along with spoilers about the upcoming Sister Wives season. Christine Brown gets candid about her marriage to Cody Brown. 
sex intimacy and the lack thereof. In her Juicy Scoop interview, Christine didn't hold back when asked about her relationship with Cody. She revealed a startling detail. It was like five times in one year. There's sex and then there's intimacy. What we didn't have was intimacy. The intimacy itself had been gone for years. Fans were shocked by Christine's openness. As the Brown family has traditionally kept the most personal details of their relationships out of the public eye. But Christine, now free from her marriage to Cody, seems more than willing to shine a light on her experiences. The breaking point. No more intimacy. Christine explained that the end of her marriage was directly tied to their lack of physical intimacy. She recounted a pivotal moment when Cody told her they would no longer be having a sexual relationship. He's like, we're not going to have an intimate marriage anymore. We're not going to have sex, Christine shared. This revelation was a turning point for Christine. Rather than staying in a marriage devoid of love and intimacy, she made the bold decision to pack up Cody's belongings and change the locks. Christine Brown's new life with David Woolley. A fresh start. Christine's life has taken a complete turn since she left Cody. She's now married to David Woolley, and judging by her radiant happiness, it's clear that this new chapter is vastly different from her days as Cody's third wife. David is taking care of all of her needs, one insider close to the family revealed. From their social media posts to Christine's glowing interviews, it's evident that she's found the intimacy and emotional connection that was missing in her marriage to Cody. Cody's reaction, damage control or genuine concern. Cody Brown has expressed frustration over how Christine has portrayed him in the press. He feels that her candid remarks about their lack of intimacy and the details of their split are painting him in a negative light. Cody has been complaining for months that Christine has been making him look bad, a source said. However, fans have been quick to defend Christine, pointing out that her openness is likely part of her healing process and not an attempt to villainize Cody. What fans are saying? Mixed reactions to Christine's tell-all. Fans of sister wives are divided over Christine's revelations. Some applaud her bravery in speaking out about her experiences while others feel that certain details should have remained private. Christine has every right to tell her story, one fan wrote on Reddit. She spent years in a marriage where her needs weren't met. Let her have her moment. On the other hand, critics argue that Christine's comments about their sex life cross a line. Some things are better left unsaid, another fan commented. Dragging Cody like this isn't a good look. A turning point for sister wives. Christine's candidness, is part of a larger shift in the narrative of sister wives. With three of Cody's former wives, Christine, Janelle and Mary, leaving the plural marriage, viewers are seeing the story from multiple perspectives for the first time. It's refreshing to hear from the wives directly, a longtime viewer shared. For years, we only saw Cody's version of events. Spoilers for the upcoming Sister Wives season. As Sister Wives gears up for its next season, Fans can expect even more drama as Cody and Robin adjust to life without Christine, Janelle, and Mary. Christine's newfound freedom and happiness with David will undoubtedly be a central storyline, as will the fallout from her explosive revelations. Will Cody respond to Christine's claims? One of the biggest questions heading into the new season is whether Cody will address Christine's comments head-on. While he has hinted at his frustration, he has yet to provide a detailed response to her claims about their lack of intimacy. Cody isn't one to let things slide, a source close to the family noted. Fans should expect him to have his say. Conclusion Christine Brown reclaims her voice. Christine Brown's decision to speak openly about her marriage to Cody marks a turning point not just for her, but for the entire Sister Wives franchise. Her willingness to share the good, the bad, and the intimate details of her life is empowering fans and sparking important conversations about love, respect, and the right to personal happiness. While some may feel that she's crossed a line, Christine's transparency is a testament to her strength and determination to move forward on her own terms. As she continues to thrive in her new marriage, viewers are left wondering, is this just the beginning of Christine's tell-all era? And how will Cody respond to her explosive claims? What do you think of Christine's revelations? Did she go too far? Or is she justified in sharing her side of the story? Share your thoughts in the comments below. 
and stay tuned for more updates on Sister Wives. In her recent interviews, Sister Wives star Christine Brown isn't holding back. But this time, did she go too far? Christine recently appeared on Heather McDonald's Juicy Scoop podcast and shared some startling information regarding what happened, or didn't, in the bedroom with Cody Brown. For all the gory details and impending Sister Wives spoilers, continue reading. Ever wonder how frequently Cody Brown sleeps with each of his wives annually? Oh no. Well, that department was clarified by Christine Brown. Regarding the specifics of their relationship with their shared husband, the sister wives have always remained extremely discreet. However, Christine obviously doesn't care that he is no longer her spouse. Spoilers for sister wives, Christine Brown reveals. Juicy Scoop was discussed by Christine Brown. It happened about five times in a single year. Sex comes first, followed by closeness. Intimacy was what we lacked. For years, the closeness itself had vanished. Christine continued by disclosing that their lack of bedtime was the real reason for their formal split. She reportedly packed away Cody Brown's belongings and changed the locks after he told her they would no longer be having sex. Can you picture that awkward exchange of words? He's like, we're not going to have an intimate marriage anymore, Christine clarified. We will not engage in sexual activity. Spoilers for sister wives. David Woolley is attending to business. Christine Brown is currently contentedly wed to David Woolley. And based on Christine's recent happiness, it appears like David is meeting all of her wants, particularly the ones Cody Brown was ignoring. For months, Cody has been alleging that he has been negatively portrayed in the media by Christine Brown. We're also beginning to understand his perspective. Do we blame her, though? Not at all.